Hello guys, um, nandito na naman tayo guys at sana mayroon na naman kayong bagong matutunan dito. Um, we're going to discuss this time um, Venn Diagram. No? Ang Venn Diagram, isa to sa mga powerful tools sa pag-solve ng uh, maraming word problems sa mathematics. Sana uh, ma-enjoy at ma meron kayong matutunan this time. Magandang umaga sa lahat. Um, ngayon ay tatalakay natin kung paano mag-solve ng word problem gamit ang Venn Diagram. Okay, simulan na natin guys. Now, here is another example of prob problem solving using Venn Diagram. 64 households were surveyed and they gave the following responses. 45 believe that this COVID-19 pandemic will be over before 2022 ends. 49 believe that this COVID-19 pandemic will last until early months of 2022. And 49 households believe both of these things will occur. And here are the questions. How many believe neither of these things? How many believe that COVID-19 pandemic will be over before 2022 ends but don't believe that it will be at earlier months of 2022. Okay, these are given in the problem. 64 households who were surveyed. Um, 45 believe, 45 households believe COVID will be over before 2022 ends. 49 households believe that COVID will end at early months of 2022. 42 households believe both of these things. Now we have here our assumption for this problem. We let B, which is our set B, who believe COVID-19 will be over before 2022 ends. And this set B is represented by the red uh, colored circle. And we also assume E to be the set E who, whose households believe COVID-19 will end at early months of 2022 and is represented by um, set E blue colored circle. Okay. Now, to assign values uh, in, a, in, in our Venn diagram, so this is now our Venn diagram, we have to start filling up regions in the Venn diagram from the innermost part of the Venn diagram. And let us try to look at the given uh, in the problem. Uh, titingnan natin kung saan dito sa given ang magagamit natin sa pag-fill up sa innermost part of the diagram. So, ito yung innermost part niya. Okay. So, 42 believe both of these things. Okay. So, both meaning to say common to set B and set B. And that is the intersection. This uh, region. Okay. So, We have, okay, 42 is um, placed in this innermost region of the diagram. Now, we have here 45 who believe COVID uh, will be over before 2022 ends. And that is um, under set B. But, we noticed that there is already 42, uh, there are already 42 households um, being assigned at this part. You know? So, we, we subtract 42 from 45 and the difference is 3. Okay. So, 3 is the number of households who believe only 
that COVID will be over before 2022 ends. No? But overall, there are 45 who believe that COVID will be over before 2022 ends. The only thing is, the 42 households also believe the other way. Okay? Now, what about this 49 who believe that COVID will end at early months of 2022? And this belongs to set E. No? Okay. But there are, uh, there are 42 believers under set E who also believe um, things that will happen in set B. Okay, so what we will do is we subtract 42 from 49 and the difference is 7. Okay, there are 7 households who only believe for, who only believe that COVID will end at early months of 2022 and 42 believe it also and the other, um, condition okay okay so we have here take note that there are 64 households who were um, surveyed and we have already assigned values um, from these regions of, to these regions of um, the Venn diagram but if we will add 42, 7, and 3, the sum is 52. But since there are 64 households, we subtract um, 3, 42, and 7 from 64, or we subtract the sum of 3, 42, and 7 from 64 and the difference is 12 and that we are going to write outside the two circles no? so these 12 households do not belong to these uh, two, uh, two circles Answering the question now. How many believe neither of these things? Or ilan ang hindi naniniwala saan man dito? Or saan man dito? O hindi naniniwala that COVID-19 will be over before 2022 ends? Hindi naniniwala that COVID-19 will end at early months of 2022? Okay, so let us check. Okay. So, hindi siya naniniwala sa dalawang situations na na. So, we have here, there are 12 households do not, who do not believe neither of these no, things to happen. How many believe that COVID-19 pandemic will be over before 2022 ends? but do not believe that it will be at earlier months of 2022 or ilan ang naniniwala na ang pandemic ay matatapos bago ang pagtatapos ng 2022 ngunit hindi naniniwala na matatapos ito ng mas maagang panahon okay Ayun. Okay. So, ito, there are three households who believe that it will be over before 2022 ends. At hindi siya naniniwala na um, ang COVID-19 will end at early months of 2022. Okay? So, Ang sagot ay 3. So, there are 3 households who believe that COVID 
pandemic will be over before 2022 ends but don't believe that it will be at earlier months of 2022. That's it guys, thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Um, and watch more examples from the description link below. Okay, thank you guys.